YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is City Skyline Strategy and Tactics Episode 84. So, uh, after letting the simulation cook for a little bit, uh, building us up some uh, development, building us up some, uh, some monies here, uh, I noticed a kind of a citywide problem. Uh, yes, my friends, we have ourselves a death wave. A big, mick large, citywide death wave. Now, in the past, that's not usually scared me, because, you know, we just go here and uh, go here to our budget. And, ah, crap. We're having this massive death wave despite having our medical budget maxed. Well, is yeah, ma yeah, pretty much maxed. Um, and according to uh, our statistics here, uh, where are you? Uh, health. Um, death care. Uh, yeah, we are using a lot of our cemeteries, but our crematorium access is uh, is available, um, supposedly. So the real uh, the real bottleneck here is hearses. There's just not enough hearses to go around, which is unfortunate. Uh, so hopefully my city does not uh, decline uh, and die off back in the old world here, so to speak. Why are you guys stopped? You guys are all stopped. Oh, you guys are just having a traffic jam. How much do you? How much pe do people actually use this passenger train? Yeah, screw that passenger train. As much as I'd like people to go between those two, they have to fight too hard uh, with uh, with all of the, uh, the 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 national transportation stuff. Um, I don't think it's worth having that particular line in there, especially since they don't use it. Oh, a cemetery that is done emptying. Sweet, that is more pressed into service. You are emptying. Uh, I went through I went through this with a fine tooth comb before. Yes, I know a building is burned down. What what is this? Not enough raw materials. Not enough raw materials. What the Sam Hecker? Whoa! What is this? Whoa! What is this gridlock? When did this happen to this? This is just supposed to be a sleepy farmy area. Yeah, 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 you people are falling down on the job. Quite literally, I might add. I still find it amusing that the deaths never show up at the industrial areas, despite that being statistically more likely for people to die, i.e. in industrial accidents. Anyway, so enough of all, uh, all uh, enough of my fretting about the death care. That's, there's... I mean, I guess I could spam out crematoriums, but, I mean, this is just a death wave. It, it is a temporary artifact. I mean, it may re it's going to reoccur in, like, 30, or 30 years or so, but it's still an artifact. Man, what residential area did I build too quickly that made a death wave of this magnitude? Sheesh. Oh, and I hooked up this other station, by the way. That's the other thing off-screen I did. Um, but otherwise, nothing too fancy. Right then, so you know what? Let's get uh, let's get our resident skin because the city's going to need an influx of some population with all these people dying on me. So let's make that happen here. And I think yeah, this this plot right here is the uh, the plot to make that happen. So we will get that going here, and we've got enough money to make it happen the way we want to. Good one right here. Then we gotta get ourselves a nice little place right here. Uh, oh, that's just fine and dandy. And what the hey, we'll have you uh, have you go here, hook the three of you guys up. Um, sure, why not? It's a little little roundabout, but what the hey. And got our intra. Weeping Willow Zone, or Double Tree Zone, uh, set up here. Excellent. Not that I foresee this one getting a lot of use, but I like setting them up earlier on. That way, I don't forget about them. Um, Alright then. So, well, yeah, we're going to get ourselves the... Well, you guys are already kind of covered. 
You know, at the very least, I'm going to get... At the very least, you guys are getting another... You guys are getting another death care facility. Because the world needs more death care facilities. Um, yeah, firehouse. Well, yeah, you, you guys don't really need it that much, but... Yeah, you guys need it down there at the end. And having a little extra shouldn't hurt too badly. Oh yeah, you guys are also going to need some edumacation. Um, let me get the medical facility going here. Good. And then maybe I'll have enough room for... Well, like, hang on, let me get the beautification. We can always move them in, um, uh, and then once we get enough money flowing... Yeah, we'll do we'll double up here because we want these areas nice and fancy. Nice and fancy. You guys are gonna whine about the noise, but eh. Someone's gonna have to whine about the noise. So take it for the team. Alright then. Let's let's water you guys up. And yeah, we'll just start you out uneducated, and then uh, as money flows in, we'll uh, we'll throw down schools as necessary. How's the garbage coverage going here? All right, we're starting to we're starting to wear thin on the garbage coverage. Uh, I may throw down once I get more money uh, an incinerator down here to sort of uh, boost the garbage coverage because I want to, at the very least, be able to provide for this entire this entire land mass here. Um, uh, without needing additional uh, unwarranted uh, smelly areas. Speaking of, we still have this big gaping hole in here, which is which is going to eventually become industrial. But I don't want to develop it until I'm done with uh, extracting all of the ore up here and up here. Once the once this area has been been shut down, then all of that access to industrial demand that is going to have otherwise been tied up here will get shifted down here. Uh, it wouldn't be a perfect conversion, but close enough for me, and probably close enough for them. Uh, you know what? Let's let the people, um, do we want them to drive or walk? We want them, at the very least, to be able to walk. because uh, this is a good walkable, walkable little sidewalk here thingy. Yeah, I'll cut that in half, that's okay. That way you guys can get some foot traffic going here. Um, and I can afford an elementary school. I can afford an elementary school. Well, that's what you guys are going to get. One elementary school. Uh, power! Well, we're already juicing up the middle here. Um, so power should spread itself nicely. That being said, I am going to not pay attention to how I zone and just zone everything. Because I'm a derp like that. But we'll live. Hopefully some people come down this way and uh, decide to enlighten us. I definitely see this area developing pretty quickly. Oh yeah, we gotta uh, get our uh, get our skyways going here and hooked up to them. So, um, let's see. Why don't we have you guys? You do that, you do that, that way you're hooked up to the sidewalk. You do that. And then you can come over here. Actually, hmm. We'll hook you up to over here. Beautiful. That's, yeah, I'm, li I'm liking that. And then we'll do the same for over here. Not that, uh, not that we need it as much, but hey, might as well let them have a path to walk over. There we go. That should do nicely. It looks like these guys have already juiced up with their, with their power. So that should work nicely. We should also start seeing some people legitimately use this train station now. Um, a little wave of uh, upgrades over here. Oh, that's probably uh, probably from these two. 
These, these guys like the, uh, the little edge upgrades over here. All right, still getting some more job zots over there, but again, that's the whole reason why we built this out area over here. And from what I've seen in some of my other industrial areas, we have we are we are more overeducated than undereducated. Uh, so the fact that we're going to get some dum dums flowing in here, uh, not the end of the world. Um, they'll they'll sort themselves out pretty quickly. Yeah, come on, crematorium, get those hearses on the road. We've got some we've got some issues that you guys need to help us with, please. See who play, please and thank you. Oh, yeah, you guys are developing quite quickly, and I am happy for that. Um, and I'm sure the industrial zones are happy for that as well. Yeah, I just really want this death wave to get taken care of. Good. God, let me go. Let me go. Let's go to the statistics on here because this is just silly. The 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 amount of deaths we've got going here for us, um, just the sheer number of of citizens dying on us. Oop, nope, that's not the one I wanted. Boy, I haven't accessed the info view in quite some time. I think it's is it the main menu? Ah, there we are. City city statistics. Uh, and you know what, let's, let's take this time to, to look at them, just see how we've been doing. I mean, it's been a while since we've looked at these bad boys. So, city treasury, we used to be, we used to be in the money, but then we've been spending it as fast as we make it. Um, interesting thing there, that there's sort of like a little bubble that we kind of rode on for a while. Uh, budget's gone up and up, and yeah, this, this, right up here, that, 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 that's probably why that one, like so. The city value has gone up and up and up, nice and steadily. Taxation, up and up and up, nicely. Uh, ta yeah, here's our population. Um, wow. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Influx, yeah, up, down, up, down, up, there. Here's the down. Boom. Boom. Like that. Birth rates, nice and steady. Death rates, where's that? De there's this. There's the there's the death rate spike just boom, so people have finally ceased dying for a while. <laughs> uh, so hopefully our, uh, our our death care services can catch up, because that would be nice. Um yeah everyone's um, oh we uh, we had some unemployment uh, issues for a little while here. Interesting. Education levels are, uh, yeah, you now nice and middling in there. Yeah, we still have some people up there. So that's what I was saying. We can we can deal with that. Students, not bad. Tourists, what the heck happened there? Sheesh. Tourist tax income, as pathetic as ever. <laughs> really, they they really need to bring in more money for me to pay more attention to them. Happiness, I already paid too much attention to them already. Yep, I'm stuck at ninety. I'm fine with that. Residential zones. Come moisture zones going up and up, industrial zones going up and up, and office zones should be going up and up. There we go. All right, that is the statistics menu for our lovely city of Ficklewood. So once these people stop with the uh, dying and all that, uh, then we should be in a good place. All right, we're getting more money in here, so let me get my uh, let me get my next elementary school in here. Still weird that, that 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 these don't really cover this area quite as effectively. Because I mean, you'd think they just walk to school. I wonder if it would behoove me to try putting. Well, I know I know people don't go crazy traveling there, but what if I put uh, next time I when I get my my high school, I'm gonna put it right here next to that because I know a lot of people travel and commute to and from high schools and if we put it near mass transit that might uh, cut down on our student traffic travel so we might have a little bit of a refinement when it comes to residential uh, uh, weeping willow zones or double tree zones uh oh gridlock come on guys come on guys you can sort out your differences passenger train get the heck out of here we don't nobody wants you nobody wants you there's a truck 
stuck in there by the looks of it. Oh boy. Jeez, people, it's just one track in one direction. Oh, well, two directions, but I mean, still, it's just one track. There's no intersections here. How can you mess this up? Uh, you people. You silly trains. This is why we do not let the outside world on our rails, thank you very much. I know how to control my trains. It's just unfortunate we need to depend on the outside world for goods. And occasionally tourists. I honestly don't know why this is here. It, it, it feels like it should be. Um, but eh, I might remove it if it becomes more of a problem. Not that that's going to stop these red trains from flowing through here anyway. Oh, will somebody just disappear? Thank you. Sheesh. Yeah, and then you just... Just go right through there. Yeah, now they all vanish. Like, that's all they needed to do, is just have that happen. Uh, right, alright, so we are, uh, we are, uh, proceeding with our, uh, stripping, strip mining of the, um, little mountaintop over here. I like that touch that this area is like a big mountaintop and it's got lots of ore in it. So there's kind of a reason why the mount the, the land is all puffed up, uh, and bulky and bulgy. It's, uh, because there's stuff under it. Alright, you, uh, are you keeping your, uh, hearses busy? Yes, you are. Good. Good. Go get them debtors. Go get them corpses. It's too bad you can't get the, uh, pass an ordinance and get your garbage men involved. You know, plus, plus, uh, dead people collection minus happiness. I'll take the minus happiness at this point. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there anything else I'm missing over here? Good to see our old, uh, our, our older sections over here. Uh, how's the death wave? Death, death wave is still death waving. I have a feeling we're gonna lose a couple of buildings to abandonment due to lack of corpse picking upping. But, eh, we'll have to deal with it. We will have to deal with it. And they'll come back on their own. Uh, eventually, it just it, it just forces them to be abandoned for a little bit, but otherwise they'll they'll be fine. They'll be fine. All right, residential area growing up quite nicely. Gotten getting the money for my uh, high school. All right, so let's try our experiment here. I am eager, eager to try this experiment. So here is our uh, here's our thing. So if we put you. Uh, well, we're going to have to stomp on one of our roads, or one of our uh, streets here. But you know what? I'm willing to do that in the name of science. Let's, uh, let's repair you. Yeah, let's go down the side here. It doesn't jump over like this one does, but we'll just have you guys, we'll just have you guys plug directly into the road. A little bit easier to do it that way. And I'll, uh, later on, I'll keep an eye on this, uh, on this high school and just see, uh, actually I'll keep an eye on the, uh, uh, on the depot over here just to see how the people, uh, flow in and out with, uh, with, the uh, passengers and whatnot. All right, 447 uh, students enrolled and, and growing. How are you guys doing? 210. So our educational facilities are handling it. I'm not going to spring for the college, nor am I going to spring for the uh, is that level five. No, it's not level five. It's level one. Ha! Um, nor am I going to spring for the, uh, uh, the, the education boost edict. Uh, until I eventually convert this whole area over into more residentials. Then I'll, I'll plop a college for, for this whole thing, for a, for a double tree worth of residentials plus suburbs. That's worth a college. Absolutely. But not right now. We've got some industrializing to do. So the double, uh, double elementary school plus, uh, high school will do nicely. Oh, for Pete's sake, will you guys pick up the dead? Sheesh. 
have to have to subsidize our industries, get some Soylent, uh, Soylent uh, Red going here. Help uh, help with the uh, disposal problem and make some consumer goods while we're at it. All right, uh, Death Wave's starting to subside. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. I want it to start subsiding, but it's like, nope, skull and crossbones across your city. Uh, and not just the orange ones, the red ones, the red ones. God, I hate the red ones. In sharp uh, contrast to uh, fruit-flavored snacks, when it comes to uh, warning icons, I hate the red ones. Love them in fruit snack form. Unless it's like a fruit snack that indicates that there's a corpse there. Then then that's just weird and I don't want anything to do with that. Uh poop. Do I just do I just find some room for some like freaking cemeteries just to spam them out? Give people some temporary reprieve? Um, uh, you know, just, just a little bit extra room, or do I have a room to spend? Actually, this is a, this, this looks like it wants to be, a, have a cemetery over here. So let's, let's find some cemetery. That's garbage disposal. Uh, there we are. Oh, you so badly want to have a cemetery right here, don't you? You, uh, I'm, I'm not letting that stand. We are, we are fixing this. So that you guys may have yourselves a, a lovely cemetery. What are we doing? There we go. Cemetery. Cemetery. Get this um, get this thing going over here. And then up here, what do we do up here? What do we do up here? What do we do up here? We get a dirt road. Sure, why not? Maybe. Space already occupied by what? That's Firehouse, ah! I didn't even realize that was a, a ploppable I was dealing with. Now that's not a ploppable. That's better. Fill you guys in here. Fill you in here. And get ourselves a new graveyard to help out with the crisis. Yay! More hearses. That's the thing that annoys me. It's like the, 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 the cemeteries have the greatest number of hearses. Um, but they're really space inefficient. And why aren't you sending out people? Come on, send out some hearses. You, they're, they're right next door. Right next door. Actually, why don't I connect you to you? It seems like a logical connection. And yeah, there. See, now you're sending your hearses out. Because before it was just a really, really long distance away to do that. So now we got a little bit of a, a little bit of a shortcut in here. Hopefully that pe hopefully people do not abuse that. All right, anywhere else that I can stick a random graveyard that won't upset people too badly. How about you? Right here. Eh. Nah. Oop, we got some space over here, but do we have random? Yeah, I need to put it where where the demand is, like right over here. That looks like a cemetery location here for me. You go get them corpses. We have a zombie apocalypse on our hands soon if we don't deal with this. That'd be a funny, uh, like, sort of Easter egg-y type, uh, uh, type thing. Like, if you let the corpse situation get, uh, get bad enough, uh, long enough. What is this? Citizens are sick. Uh, well, they're on their way to the grave, but they're not there yet. So we don't care about them right now. Besides, our, our medical facilities are overfunded as it is. Alright, hopefully those uh, those extras can help deal with this whole situation. Uh, 
Hmm. Yeah. You guys are doing fine. All right, fine, 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 fine. All right, so our residential area is growing quite nicely, actually. Um, hopefully some new, new fresh faces to replace all the dead ones in the city. And since we're only growing one half of a double tree, a residential double tree, when this, uh, when this population eventually comes of age and starts dying, I don't think it will trigger quite so massive of a death wave. Because, man, that was one nasty, nasty death wave. <laughs> Uh, that we are still still uh, bracing for impact here. Um, area's getting pretty busy traffic-wise, but I'm not seeing anything awful. Like I, I'm I'm seeing stuff. I'm seeing thickness. I'm seeing activity, but I'm not seeing anything that makes me like, oh, I gotta stop and fix this. Uh, of course, this thing. When every time a every time a uh, train arrives here, this thing starts vomiting out uh, trucks and vans like crazy. Hopefully the local industries can start uh, producing enough uh, local goods so that the, we don't depend on imports from uh, from here and the only thing that comes out of there are trucks to supply the industries. That is the ideal. Still a little fuzzy on exactly the tax benefits for self-supplying versus importing, but the tip screen says that, that that's a thing, so uh, who am I to question it? All right, so, um, yeah, getting you guys built up here. You guys are continuing to expand, but you need more workers. That's what we're providing down here. Commercial zones, they want more commercial zones. Well, once this area, once I've determined that this area has strip mined itself out, I will blow away all of the industries on this side of the pond here um, and uh, make this our second half of our commercial zone. Probably set up a... Uh, um, a boat, a boot. It's about time for a boot, and uh, get that uh, get this uh, double tree zone completed, and uh, get people shopping happily, uh, and then just go whole hog uh, down here. Probably gonna flesh out and fill out the once once this zone fills itself out, I will I will residential suburb it up down here while these areas still uh, still mine the crap out of this area. Um, for all of the lovely delicious ore and then once you're done with that turn you all the residentials as well and so far hey so far my uh, one up intersection handling its own it is handling its own quite nicely I must say um, I'm still a little leery about this little loop here uh, right now it's it's fine but I could see it becoming problematic later possibly so I will be keeping a closer eye on that just to make sure things don't bog down. And if they do, well, you know our, our MO. So if uh, you like this episode and want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!